why I'm really happy to see you in 2016 and here it's been the most beautiful wintry weather you could imagine. It's like proper layers of snow. Today I wanted to show you guys some of my most favorite things of the entire year of 2015. It's a tag that I do every single year. There's a lot of products I want to talk about so let's get right into it. Lunatic Cosmetic Labs Mystifying Mattifying High Definition Micro Finished Pressed Powder and this is shaped like the thing that you call ghosts with on an Uja board, the one that you hold like that and it has a little mirror on the front and you slide it open and there's a white powder that is vegan and talc free and it's so awesome for your skin. When I avoid using concealers and foundations, I just use this and it makes my face look flawless, so I really like it. I really recommend it. Essence's I Heart Extreme Mascara, without doubt, I have been using this for ages and will continue using for as long as they continue coming out with it. Urban Decay's Matte Lipstick in Stark Naked. This is a recent discovery and I got it when I was in London, but since then I've been wearing it every day and I'm wearing it now as well and it's a very orangey color but what I love about this isn't even the color it's the formula the fact that you put it on and it's not a stain so it won't make your lips chap or anything another product from lunatic and this is their contour palette and it is again really badass packaging looks really cool and inside of it it's got a mirror and tons and tons of contouring colors all of these are matte and this is just perfect for all of your needs for cheeks because you can contour you can highlight you can have some blushes here and i genuinely think that this is a worthy investment not entirely sure if this is cruelty free i bought it when i was in korea and i did not really check and well i have it so i started using it this has honestly changed my skin and it is the skin food broccoli emulsion and this is 96% natural so it's mostly natural ingredients and I don't know how they made this but it just kind of makes all of your like flaws disappear overnight and this is really strange. One of my best friends has very acne prone skin. She put this on next morning. Everything kind of flattened out and we were looking at her being like how? It's very moisturizing at the same time and I just use it in the evening and in the morning. The Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in the color Grage and I have this on right now and as you can see I grew up really really long nails because I just decided I feel like it. It's very neutral and grown up but at the same time looks kind of very edgy and cool the lani hair treatment and without doubt you've heard me raving about it so much i left it in university i forgot it there it's an amazing hair treatment you put it in your hair braid it overnight and then wash it off in the morning and it leaves your hair silky smooth and it's all made of like natural essential oils and the packaging is also great which i love Blue Mediterraneo's Fico di Amalfi Aqua Parfumata and over the last year it has become my signature scent and I've always wanted to have a signature scent and now I have one and this is actually my second bottle and this smells like figs and spring and fresh air and salt and sea and just all of the wonderful things in life so i really recommend smelling this if you're in a perfume shop it's difficult to choose a favorite clothing piece of the year because obviously over the year you change your clothing so much but um i think at the moment i really like this top that i'm wearing it's kind of a swedish top from nasty gal another one that's been saving me this winter is this faux fur coat from chicwish and this is just wonderful because it actually looks quite real since it has very beautiful colors in it but at the same time it's obviously not and it's very soft and fluffy and I really like it. Third thing is the sweater I got for Christmas and this is from Cause and it's a mustard yellow color and I really like it. Moving on to accessories, I think my most favorite accessory has been my scaffold piercing that I made I think two weeks ago right before coming back for Christmas and I just think it's so edgy and it still hurts and bleeds sometimes but it looks really cool a very untypical piece for someone with my style to wear but i really like it this is not an accessory it's an electronic but it honestly counts as an accessory for me and these are my friend's headphones that you've seen in a bazillion instagram photos and they're just these gold friends taylor headphones that ow see piercings <laughs> That hurt. I made one on this side and at the same time made one on this side so like both of my ears ache now. But yeah, these headphones are beautiful and they're just really nice worn around your neck like that and they just make any outfit look really cool. And for my favorite pair of shoes, this is not going to be a surprise, you've seen them in so many of my videos. Over knee boots that I got from eBay and they're like a dupe of the Stuart Weitzman ones and I think I might need to buy a new pair just because 
I've worn them so much, they're probably gonna be done soon. But these boots look so good with everything, with jeans, with skirts, dresses, and they just make you look very put together. For random favorites, my favorite TV shows and movies. I'd say Star Wars The Force Awakens because that was a special moment in any Star Wars fan's life. Obviously, there's been such a long pause between the last two movies and this one did not disappoint. I went to see it twice in a row, like two days in a row, and I cried, I bawled my eyes out so much the first time I watched it. It was really, really good, both as an action movie and as a continuation of the story. I really liked a lot of things about it, all the references to the old characters and especially to the fourth episode of Star Wars. What else? For something more serious, I think a movie that was eye-opening for me was Cowspiracy that I watched sometime in the very beginning of uh, 2015 and it's about the environment and about how animal agriculture affects the environment and also how fishing affects it. And I honestly was blown away because I did not know any of that. And when I watched the film, it made me think about how the world functions in a bit of a different way. I study politics, so I love conspiracy theories, and that one was just like one on top of another on top of another. For books, the first one is one that I also read at the beginning of 2K15, and it is Dr. Colin Campbell's The China Study. That book I've talked about before, it's incredible. It's the largest uh, human nutrition study ever made in the history of humans. Not to go into detail, it basically proves how veganism is the most optimal and sustainable choice in life for your health. And it shows how animal proteins and animal products affect your health negatively. And it's all shown through scientific research, experiments, and statistics. So if you haven't read the China study or you want to transition into veganism but don't know how, make sure to read it because for me, that book um, changed my perspective on food. And although I was vegan before, I never knew the facts. And it also helped me transition some of my family members into veganism. Another book is Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now that I only finished reading very recently. And that is an amazing book. And it's about spirituality and about how you can come in peace with yourself. It teaches you meditation, teaches you how to get out of your own shell and your own problems. and. Uh, stop being vindictive, say crap about other people, lets you come at peace with your own body and your own self. And I think that is very important, especially for young people to read. So I really, really recommend that book. Beverage. Okay, this is not even hard to choose. It's just on top of my head. Uh, soya cappuccinos with shit tons of cinnamon. Again, if you know me or have ever been around me, I am the queen bee of cappuccinos. I know the best spots to get them. I know the right consistency. The milk should be after it's frothed. I love them. And soy milk makes them so much more delicious in my opinion. For favorite songs, again, this was a whole year of amazing music. And I think the two highlights were that Florence and the Machines new album, How Big, now it's not that new anymore, How Big, How Blue, How Beautiful came out. And for me, I listened to that album like 50 times in a row, know all the songs by heart as I do with all of her albums. And yeah, it was a big moment for someone who's as big as a fan of hers as I am. And another one is um, Tame Impala's Currents because I love Tame Impala. And I've spoken about Currents in one of my previous favorites videos and I still listen to it, although a lot of months have passed because I just love their music. And I think my favorite songs are especially Reality in Motion and uh because i'm a man a highlight of positivus which was a festival i think was uh jungles julia a song that just makes me so pumped every single time i hear it i really like it i don't know this year i haven't been attaching myself to particular songs as much as any other year because i've been using my soundcloud account a lot i just repost on my soundcloud account which is shenelegans a lot of ambient music and remixes and like mixtapes and things like that and just listen to that in my car because i find it very chilled and relaxing so that looks like everything for my 2015 favorites and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to comment down below and tell me what are your favorite things in 2015 because i would love to know and also have an amazing year guys because for me 2015 i think it was the single best year of my life and i know in my heart that every single year after that is just going to be better and better and better and i really hope it's the same for you guys and you can look back at this year and say and name a lot of things that you are grateful for or proud of or that you achieved or someone else in your family did. Yeah, have an amazing 2016. I love you all and goodbye.